Now we are going to demonstrate how to use force and detect metals in the field. Let's turn on the device first. We will use the device in the Discrimination 2 mode first. This is the two-tone discrimination mode. In this mode, the device will produce a low tone for ferrous metals and a different single tone for non-ferrous metals. We will do an automatic ground balance and start searching now. Now let's see the Discrimination 3 mode. This is the three-tone discrimination mode. The device will produce a different tone for ferrous metals, non-ferrous metals, and gold. And now let's see how general search mode works. Sometimes referred to as the all metal mode, this mode has a constant threshold sound in the background. The loudness of the sound directly impacts the detection depth. The device will not discriminate metals and it will emit the same tone for all targets. And now we will show you how to use force core on wet beach sand. First we turn on the device. And then we select the conductive ground mode designed for conductive ground such as wet beach sand. We will do an automatic ground balance and start searching now.
When searching on dry sand, you can also search using the other modes without getting false signals. We will show you the Discrimination 3 mode as an example now. We will do an automatic ground balance and start searching now. Now let's see how we pinpoint a detected target. Pinpointing is to determine the center or the exact location of a detected target. To pinpoint a target, after a target is detected, move the search coil aside where there is no target response and press the pinpoint button and, keeping the button pressed, approach the target. As the center of the target is approached, the signal tone will get stronger and change in pitch. The spot where you get the loudest response indicates the center of the target. Repeating this process from a few different angles will narrow the field of detection and give you a better idea of the target's location.